In this arrangement, I use three techniques, color trills, pizzicato or slap tongue, and wind sounds. Well, let's start with the first flute part. In this, in the, in the first flute, we, we find color trills. And then first take a good look at the fingering above the note. So the first one we find in bar eight, and we have to play an A and trill with these three fingers. So your flute will respond a little bit differently, but, but that's, that's a nice thing, so enjoy that. Then the second and the third flute have to play pizzicato all along. There are tw two ways to play pizzicato. The first one is with your lips and the second one is with the tongue. I will teach you both, but for this piece, because you have to do it a very long time, uh, is uh, tongue pizzicato is the best choice. Let's start with the lip pizzicato so you know what kind of sound we are looking for. First of all, put your lip lips like this and make this sound. And now you use your flute just to catch the sound, that's all. So it's very soft, it should be very soft. Now the second way to do it is with the tongue. And the easiest way to teach you is put the tip of your tongue to your upper lip, over your front teeth, like this. And then try to make the same sound, sound as with the lip pizzicato. It sounds a little bit different, but that's okay. And now again, the flute just catches the, the sound, that's all. When you practice this and, and you're, you're getting good at it, then you can place the tongue behind the teeth. But for now, it's for the beginning, it's, it's nice to try with the upper lip. And then the alto and the bass flute, they have to play wind sounds. To play wind sounds, put your lips forward, like this, and make sure there's only noise. No, actually flute sounds. If it's hard to do that, you can place your tongue a little bit to the upper teeth and that will help. Have fun.